Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. Today we're going to take a look at the cards that are going to be in Paldea Evolved. So our Paldea Evolved set is made up of the Japanese sets Triple B Clayburst and Snow Hazard. So let's take a look. Not, not every single card, but some of them. Most of them. They took out a couple cards for like promos and things. So Triple B first, which I've actually already looked at. I thought it was going to be in Scarlet and Violet base, but then it wasn't. I was misinformed by someone at my LGS. So, uh, looking pretty good. Um, it's got new Pokemon, so Sprig, Fuey, Quaxley, Paldean Tauros, Paldean Wooper. Of course, you've got the full art. EX of all of the starters, and then illustration rares of all the starters, and gold secret rares of all the starters. So it's a very, it's a set very focused on the starters and their full evolution, their stage two form. So not bad. I mean, if you're into the starters, we'll talk about, you know, new versus old Pokemon in a second, but let's look at the two sets that I haven't actually looked at yet. So going through, we've got Bella Bolt. All right, it's almost entirely new Pokemon. Okay, we've got Heracross, Raichu. All right, some new Pokemon. We've got a Tyranitar, it's not an EX, just a regular alt or, uh, art rare. So in our set, that's gonna be a, what, a one gold star rarity? And here you've got Full Art EXs. Noivern isn't terrible. Um, yeah, so it's almost entirely new Pokemon. We've got Noivern and Tyranitar. The Tyranitar is not an EX, however. Uh, we've got Iono, which this Iono, the Alt Art Iono in Japanese, is ridiculously priced not sure if it's going to be like that in english or not not sure if it's ridiculously priced in japan because people love the character or if the card is like incredibly playable or if it's both i'm not sure why it's that expensive cards in english tend to not be as expensive sometimes cards in japanese it'll, it'll just get crazy and iono definitely got crazy and then in english it's not nearly that crazy so we'll just have to find out on that one all right, going through Chin Pao, Annihilate, very cool. I think they're making that a promo. That's not actually going to be in our set. They're making that a promo, unless the promo is just also in addition to that. Oh, not sure if you just saw my emails or not. Um, let's see, Meryl, Ice Q, Arctabax. A lot of new Pokemon. There's a Full Art Annihilate. I think the Full Art might be in the set. That's going to be a card that I'm looking for, that Full Art Annihilate. Annihilate is super cool. Yeah, all all new Pokemon, it looks like. All of the Full Arts... Oh, Copperaja and Slowking. But uh, Copperaja and Slowking are nothing to write home about. So, yeah. I guess to... Put it short and sweet, uh, I don't think it's a very good set. I'm just going to say that. Uh, it, it suffers from the same problem that set one had, where there's no returning Pokemon for people to be excited about. There's really nothing super amazing for collectors. I mean, the thing about Pokemon, more so than Magic the Gathering or other card games, is that what drives the really high value cards is just their collectability. It has nothing to do with the playability. And this set just doesn't really have any highly collectible Pokemon in it. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I have to say about the set. From a collectability standpoint, it just does not seem very good to me. 
I mean, there's some mid-tier. You got Tyranitar, but it, Tyranitar isn't even an EX. You have the Noivern EX, but that's kind of mid-tier. Uh, there isn't really anything good in Snow Hazard. And then Triple Beat was just all about the starters. So, yeah, I think it's, it's almost entirely starters. There's no really good Pokemon in it. So, yeah, my, uh, my synopsis, I guess this video is just going to be short and sweet. I personally don't think this looks like a very good set, and I wouldn't be surprised if box prices do the exact same thing as base set did. And LGSs may be taking a huge loss on this set. So, yeah. I guess, I guess that's it. I'm just going to keep this one short and sweet. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully the next set is better. It's rumored that the next set is actually going to have Charizard in it. They've already been spoiling... Well, the artwork for the set actually has Charmander and possibly Charizard. So the next set looks like it's going to have Charizard. So the next set may be good, but this one, uh, I would not waste a bunch of money on this set. Whether you're collecting or investing, I would not waste a bunch of money on this set. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.